All right, for today, today's video, we're going to install Mod Security uh, on the Nginx reverse proxy that we created uh, on the last video. We're going to install the Mod Security Nginx connector and install the OWASP uh, core rule set. Uh, you may be asking, why am I doing this? Uh, I want to expose my Plex server to the internet. However, I do not want it directly exposed. I want to go through a reverse proxy uh, and so I set up an Nginx reverse proxy and now I'm going to install mod security which is essentially a web application firewall and then I'm going to use the rule sets that OWASP has provided uh, to install on that uh, web application firewall so let's go ahead and get started here I'm going to use putty to access the Debian instance that we created in our last video. Let's go ahead and get logged in. Let's uh, su root okay uh, some of these commands uh, are long in nature, so I'm going to be copying and pasting a lot of them, but I will uh, link the code in the video below, or in the section below the video, sorry. All right. Those were some dependencies that we had to install. Now we're going to uh, clone mod security from the GitHub. Let's go ahead and go to that directory. Let's do a git sub module in it. Let's do a git sub module update. We're going to do a dot build.sh uh, don't worry about these uh, fatal no name uh, found no names found um, this is actually uh, errors that are are part of this uh, installation and they are to be expected here but you're still you'll still have a, a working web application firewall uh, with mod security so let's do a dot configure. Oop, I hacked that one all up. All right, let's do a make. Uh, this will take a while for it to install, so I'll pause the video right here and. I'll come back after it installs. All right, it has now installed for me. Uh, let's do a make, make install. All right, and let's get out of that directory. All right, now we're going to download and uh, install the mod security Nginx connector. And once again, I'll have these uh, commands below the video. All right here, we will need to uh, get our version of Nginx. Uh, so we'll do Nginx dash. V, this didn't work before and it's not going to work again for me now. So instead, we're going to get that version by performing this command. And as you can see right here, this is the version of Nginx that I have. So when you do this next command, uh, watch what version you pick up right here. 
All right, so let's go ahead and execute that. Let's unzip it. And let's get in that folder. And let's do a configure command. Let's make modules. Copy this file. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. All right, now we're going to do a nano. We got a modify config file here in Jinx. And we're going to do the in Jinx config file. All right, you'll come down to below PID and you're going to paste this into there. And this will start up that module. So let's do a control X and save. Yes. Okay. Now let's make a directory. Our ETC in Jinx mod sec. Oop. Sorry, spelled that all wrong. Okay. Now we're going to do another uh, git command here. We're going to move that file, this file right here, now we're going to copy, this file into the modsec folder, and now we're going to enable Detection only within mod security. So this will not stop anything. This is just detecting it. At the end of it, at the end of this video, I'll show you how to check the logs for your web application firewall. All right, now we're going to nano to our reverse proxy that we set up, and this was for Plex. And right here at the top, we're going to paste this in. This will turn it on. Okay, we're going to do a control X, save. Now we're going to install the OWASP uh, core rule set. Once again, depending on when you're watching this video, just watch out for these versions here. You might have to get a different version. Um, to try to find the correct version, a lot of times you can, po you can uh, uh, copy and paste this into your browser and then search through there for the latest uh, version and then execute this command with the correct version. All right, let's go ahead and get that. Let's unzip it. Let's move it to the user local. All right, let's go to that directory. Now we're going to copy the core um, 
rule set example to the actual config. So let's do that. Now let's CD out of here. CD out of there, and we're going to nano and essentially create the main dot config file here modsec config all right so in the uh, comments below the video you're going to have this rule sets i'm just going to copy and paste mine into the, the main file uh, I will make note that you can modify these. Uh, I have them uh, excluded, but you can look through them and modify them. Uh, as you, they're sort of self-explanatory there. Exclusion rule sets before all these are applied, and then exclusion rule sets after these are applied. All right, we're going to do a control X. We're going to save. And if all goes well, we're going to do a system CTL restart nginx. Okay, uh, to check and see what we might have done wrong, let's nano to the nginx. Uh, config plex file. Let's see if we might have done something wrong here. Yeah, I did. So let me pause the video right here and I'll come back to where I uh, screwed up at. Alright, I know where I messed up at. So let me exit out of this. Or let me. Get in the main folder here. Alright, so you'll nano back to the main config file. Oops, I'm just hacking this all up. Back to the main config, and you see this top line right here. I accidentally copied uh, that from my notes. All right, well, so let's save it again. All right, let's run that command again. So system restart nginx worked flawlessly. All right, to check the logs, uh, this will grab the last uh, 100. So to do that, you'll use this right here and um, as stuff hits the uh, that reverse proxy you'll you'll see it populating through here right now I don't have anything uh, currently all right so that concludes this video um, you just set up a web application firewall on an nginx reverse proxy that is talking to a, uh, a Plex server